So, we're going to fix this Matrix 1000 synth with a new battery. But what you need to do first is save the presets. If you don't save the presets, all the sounds and the two first banks are lost. So, switch over to Data Dump, go to Dump All and Start. And there we go. Strangely enough, it's 103 messages. And we can disconnect the synthesizer and the iPad for now. We'll be needing a couple of tools. Very simple screwdriver, cross blade standard. The batteries CR2032 type, basic, you'll get them in every store. The battery holder, we'll get to that in a minute. Some more tools for cutting and bending wires. And I'm aware this is the tricky part, a soldering iron. You won't be needing that kind of professional soldering station I've got here. The only thing that is important, don't take a soldering iron that's made for plumbers. You're soldering electronics, not pipes. The battery holder is pretty standard. You can order it from a couple of sources. Just take there that the pins are about 20 millimeters apart. Couple of more tools that might come handy. Some pincers, a small vacuum pump used for desoldering. It actually sucks out the hot solder from the PCB. And this is also for desoldering. It's desoldering mesh. It's designed to draw the hot solder from the holes. And the last thing you might be using is a multimeter for testing. So now we're going to open it up. Once you've removed all nine screws, as you can see, they're all the same. Just go ahead and remove the housing. This part here is actually pretty dangerous, so don't touch it if the synth is connected. Disconnect anything you work on. Okay? Thanks. The battery is this thing in the front left corner. Actually, it deserves some respect because it has been serving you well for more than two decades now. But I'm not going to give it that respect. I'm just gonna take my tool and cut it off. There it is. Let's look what it's got left. Uh, plus is on the outside, so... See, to quote Monty Python, this is an X battery. So, I've got a good light trained on the battery. And now I'm trying to remove those little parts. It's not that easy really, but it should work. Come on. There's the one. And the other one should be just as well. So to solder in the battery holder, we've got to clean the holes in the PCB. We'll do that by resoldering that one and then get our vacuum pump to suck the solder from the hole. This looks pretty good. No, it doesn't. And So now you could try to replace the battery all from the top, but it's actually simpler if you just remove the board. So these are a couple of more screws. There are also those distance rings. Be careful not to lose those. 
and as you can see the board is still connected here with these five regulators and these five screws so we've got to remove those screws as well. Keep the parts together so that you won't lose them. So we're going to remove the connectors as well. This is the way we've got to fit it in here. So let's count. We removed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws and five more here. And now we are ready to remove the board. Carefully, carefully, carefully. And then just go ahead and fit in it. So, we're done here. We're done. So, we've got to put in a battery as well, of course. Plus goes to plus. This is fine. Then let's use a battery and slot it in. And we're done. There's one more thing we should do right now, as long as the synth is open, we should exchange this chip here, which contains the old program, and replace it with the version 1.2. Hang on. And take care that the little notch is facing the back of the synthesizer and be very careful when inserting it. One roll first, then the other, and then jump. So let's check. You have to check between the this pin down here, which is number 14, which is ground, and the one in the upper right corner. And as you can see, this is three volts going through the memory chip and so everything's fine here. Don't forget reconnecting the connectors. So before putting everything back together again I'm running a brief test. Be very careful with the mains. I'm reconnecting that now. You might try holding the enter button on switching on. This is performs a factory reset. You're losing all your presets, but we have saved them in the first step, so no harm done. So everything looks fine now, so let's go and put everything back together again. There's actually one more thing I'd like to show you. These regulators over here, they've got insulation in between the regulator and the cooling plate, so be careful that the insulation for those four is back in place. And put the lid back on. And insert the nine screws. I'll start here maybe. Another good idea might be to go through the uh, self-calibration routine. You've got to enter seven. This means test. Enter and enter. Calibrate and go. And now you're ready to go for the next 25 years.